Hey Aquarius, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I'm doing your weekly love reading. Alright, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to ask Spirit to reveal to me what is your overall energy this week. What is your overall energy this week? So let's see. Ooh, so your overall energy is the two of cups. Okay, so whoever this person is, you feel like you guys are very compatible. You know, you're really in love with this person. You feel like this person is your soulmate. You may even think that this person is your life partner. Um, sorry, I got the burp. You may also feel like you guys have a very strong bond. Ooh, okay. You have the four of wands as well. So you guys could even be talking about marriage. Okay, you guys um, could be talking about, you know, ways to have more success together, ways of having more victory together. Um, there could be a lot of passion between you and this person. But be careful with passion sometimes, because sometimes when there's a lot of passion, it can die out really fast. <sighs> okay, so this one I'm seeing here. Yeah, the five ones. See, that's why I talked about that passion, the ones. Gotta be careful with that. So... Yes, you love this person. Yes, you you feel you guys are very compatible. Yes, you want marriage. You want all those things. But always keep in mind that there will always be some type of arguments. There's no way around it. You know what I mean? So it seems like you guys have been arguing. There's been a lot of conflict between you and this person. It could be that the other night of wands here, and we have the fool. So it could be that you feel like this person... Like, what I'm thinking of, this is the type of person that, like, really sweet talks you. This is probably how they won you over by the things that they say. So you could be one of those people that fall in love with your ears. So they could have been, you know, whispering in your ear sweet nothings and knowing what to say to get you open. And I feel like it came from a genuine place. But always keep in mind that this person, they will say that they're going to do certain things and not do it. They will make certain promises and won't live up to it. Not because they don't want to, but because this person is still very irresponsible, very childlike, kind of naive, and a little immature. They want to do the right thing, but they don't always live up to it, right? And I think you're getting tired of their broken promises. So the two of wands here and the five of wands here, it's like you guys are fighting because, you know, they're starting to make you become indecisive they're starting to make you want to weigh your options they're starting to make you feel like you know am i settling here like should i explore other people maybe you express that to them and they took it the wrong way i mean honestly anyone would take that the wrong way but there was some type of argument okay we have a ten of pentacles here so you really want to get married like you want to have children you want to have like something very serious with this person you want to build this person you want to grow old with this person you want to, like, have the money, the white picket fence, the house, the car, the children, the babies. You know, leave money behind for the children, generation wealth. Like, you want it all, right? You want, like, you're, you're like, I'm in it for the taking. You're like, I'm not playing. But you're disappointed in this person because they make a lot of broken promises. I think this person is really good in bed, though. So that's why sometimes you may look past it. You do find yourself being really sexually attracted to this person. There is a strong, a strong sexual attraction here, but they disappoint you. So yeah, you want more equal give and take. You want more balance. You want things to be more fair. <laughs> Maybe you feel like you've gone out your way to be very generous to this person and you haven't gotten it back. And with the Eight of Cups being here, you're considering moving on. So let's see how this person feels about you and if you really should move on. So how does this person feel about them? Let's see. Well, 
this person wants the same things that you want. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles here and the Seven of Pentacles. So this person's on some like, listen, I put enough effort into this. I put time into this. I put resources into this. And I'm just waiting for it to pay off. So maybe they could be thinking of like new new ways to create more stability with you guys okay they could be starting like a new financial opportunity that's going to bring more stability what's that the magician here so they like want to manifest with you they want to grow with you and they do look at you as a soulmate a life partner you know what i'm saying and they feel like they've invested time into this and they want to see where things go but like, I feel like this person is trying to create more stability with you. Maybe they struggle with juggling with the Two of Pentacles being here. Maybe sometimes their feelings are very up and down as well, like yours. Like, maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes they feel like it's not worth it. But whatever it is that they're doing, like, they're, like, patiently waiting for it to pay off. We have the king of wands here too. This may be like an entrepreneur. Like they like they may want to own their own business or own their own business already. Or if not, they're just like super ambitious. So maybe you feel like they put their career before you, but it's not that. It's just they're trying to work more towards like creating more stability so that you guys can have stability together. Um, this person may be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I am also seeing... A lot of earth a little bit of water too but this person feels emotionally fulfilled by you ten of cups okay this person adores you they want to be with you yeah they feel loved and nurtured by you but they may feel like you're being a bit too emotional and they could also feel like you're worrying for nothing and you're anxious for nothing so they could feel like you're a drama queen. But they do feel like you guys have a mutual connection. Yeah, they feel like you guys have been through a lot and they want to fight for this. Okay? Yeah, they like, I feel so comfortable with you. I've known you for so long. You know, they think about the good times. They have nostalgic memories. They're like, can we just go back to how things used to be? We weren't fighting. So they love you. But you are fucking tripping, okay? Like, just chill out. Times is hard right now, all right? I am going to end this video here. Hope you found it helpful. And I will see you in the next reading. Bye.